the brain centers that gave us automatically state of stress, most of it not realized by us consciously, start to atrophy and new centers are being built physically. And those centers, if you do the process that I'm talking today, will over time create cell centers that automatically, instead of being stress, fear, worry, will, you will be more relaxed, peaceful, loving, non-judgmental, all the good stuff that the Bible and religions told us to do, to be, but they really never manifest for the reason I'm explaining. Another way to look at it, because of our brain activity, what happened in our life, mostly without any realization, it's automatic, uh, created by the centers, is that we have all this, most of us, or practically all of us, one degree or another, have negative life experience, traumatic life experience. So what we do, we are connected to the past and project the fears or the drama of the emotional and physical disaster of the past into the future, and we live in hell. We don't live in the moment. And we literally, that's one way to disconnect us from this divine metric that everything is perfect. Now, one of the things that happen in this process and other processes I describe on my website is that you start to experience the now. When you're in the now, which means you're in your heart, you don't interpret, you're not afraid, you start to do things because you love, because you feel the right for you, not subconsciously and consciously wanting to appease other people or the things that you believe will make you happy. That can never happen. Only happiness can only start and be created by you. But when you are in this state, you build new cells that erase the memory of the past, like it never happened. And now when you're peaceful and you're not projecting the fear of the future, that obviously will attract what you resist or what you're afraid of or increase the risk of creating it, you be in the moment and you are connected to the matrix, which means you're not bound by your past experiences. You live in the moment and you create more and more harmony because in this process, it's really simple because once you do it, at least for a few days, religiously, like every 15 minutes, you start to realize instinctively and intuitively and your body will tell you that you feel better. So what's difficult of feeling better than you felt before on being in a better state of mind? You create literally automatic clock where you don't even need the timer to remind yourself. And goal of this process is to get to a point where you absolutely don't need the timer reminder. You can just be in the state all the time. And that opens unlimited possibilities you probably heard the term, everybody knows, what is to be in the zone? When you are in the zone, when you're a sports person or whatever, everything works perfect. Even things that nobody expects you to be successful in, you succeed. You do things out of happiness and joy. You don't do them to appease or to make somebody happy. The happiness all comes from you. And that's a state where the solution to problems will come all of a sudden. It's like, light will turn on in your mind and you'll understand things you couldn't see before and release them. So a lot of wonderful things will happen in your life in any aspect. I cannot tell what it'll do to everybody. From my experience as a physician, over the years since I encouraged my patient to do this kind of work, basically learning to be in the moment and the many tools to do that, is that the results of the recovery were much more dramatic and much faster. And all, I've seen cases that were medically so-called impossible, but happened. Because when you open your mind and the energy of your body, there's nothing that cannot happen. Healing from terminal cancer, movement in your life, in your relationship, finding solution, finding what you like to do. And it's, any aspect of your life can be improved. This process, it's so simple that I don't see anybody can come with an excuse not to do it. In parentheses, it's true that some people come addicted to the suffering because they get attention. But if they're aware enough and they do that, it will change because there is often resistance because people used to the suffering get attention through illness or whatever unhappy things happening in the life. And that's also, for example, happens when people don't change and they married somebody alcoholic, get divorced to marry another alcoholic and so forth, or get divorced again, again, again. And the reason is because they didn't change. So even let's take a person like that. They don't have to believe what I'm saying. They don't have to understand. They just do it. And when they do it, 
they will see results and find out for themselves what in it for them and what they can improve. And once you start doing it, you realize more and more that there's really no limit to the potential improvement that can happen. When you do this process, the only limit is your imagination. There's no correct way to do it. You can create your own stuff. And when you look at my website, I put it on the front under the ultimate healing tool, it's basically the same thing. There are other processes that could be very, very helpful in self-healing of traumas and it's self-explanatory. And if you resonate with it and want to do it, it'll be very, very helpful. But even if you don't have the time, the patience, or it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Just do the process, which is part two, ultimate healing tool that I described on my website. There are two or three videos that explain it and also written instructions that you can read. But part two, which is the part I'm presenting today, is really the most important. My other programs for self-healing, uh, brain regeneration, I use tools in my book. You can use tools from other sources, which I mentioned. So don't hesitate. If you resonate with other tools, you can use them as well. Don't limit yourself. Find out what is good or resonate with you or create your own process. Another thing that can accelerate the process, and if you read the Art of Soaring, you will read many examples. In addition to the process of doing it every 15 minutes, reminding with a beeper, you can also decide that anytime you have negative thoughts about anything, about your health, about somebody, if somebody pushes your button, so to speak, you immediately shift and feel something nice and get out of thinking mode into feeling mode, just as described. When you do that, for example, if you have a problem in a relationship, if you do it consistently, and I, I stress consistently, every time for days or whatever necessary, you will see dramatic change for the better for the person you have a relationship problem. If it helped, health problems. So that's also be very helpful and amplify the process and help you deal faster with specific issues that stresses you, whether there are people, thought, doesn't really matter what. So as you can see, it doesn't get simpler than that. Other than getting a timer, which is only a few dollars, it doesn't cost you anything, no additional money or time. All you have to do is just to do it. Now, where is the connection for making the world better? So you probably know, understand that if you have a lot of positive thoughts, you're happy, joyful, it will affect other people around you. Now, the degree of your joy, happiness, and again, I want to stress, it doesn't mean you're a bad person, but all your negative belief, all your stress, the way your brain centers that on basically automatic stress gear rather than peaceful happiness and joy creates that and you don't even realize it. The more positive feeling you have and positive state of being, state of mind actually, you will create feel that affect people more strongly. As I described the example that I'll repeat again because it explains everything you need to understand about this process. Imagine you go to work very happy and joyful and everybody is upset at work. Before you know it, you are upset, they're upset, and everybody go home upset. Another scenario, you go to work and very happy and very, everybody is upset. You stay happy, they stay upset, and they go home unhappy and you go home happy. Third scenario, you go full of peace, joy in your heart, can describe it how wonderful you feel. And everybody is upset when you get to work, but all of a sudden everybody starts to be happy, joyful, and so forth, and everybody go home joyful. What's the difference? The strength of the energy field. Thought, feeling are just create energy fields around you. As Einstein say that energy follows thoughts and we know that also from science. So I believe that's my theory and what I've seen for many years that doing this process to completion, which means you don't need timer anymore, you automatically like that. It's like, it doesn't make any sense, illogical and instinctively, why do you want to be in a state of stress, judgment, upset, resisting everything and getting everything you resist? Why do you want that? Once you experience it, it'll be crazy. Go back, you automatically will do it. Once you get to this state, I believe that your energy field will be very, very strong and positive. And it has been shown that the energy field of people of a group 
if it's harmonious, has exponential strength. And it's actually much, much stronger than many, many negative people. So there is a legend that also I tell in the Jewish tradition that the world is so evil that really God would have let this world self-destruct. Why doesn't allow the, the world to be self-destruct? Because the 36 just people, they create enough energy for God to let it be. So obviously it's symbolic. I believe the energy field is enormous. How many people you think it will take to make a global difference or even in certain location? So I give an example, the theory of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, the leader of the TM movement, Transcendental Meditation. I was never attracted by that, I, to that type of discipline, but I have many good friends over the years that were involved with it. And I'll never forget, I was working in an emergency room in Jacksonville Beach, Jacksonville. It was, I believe, around 84, 1984. So his theory was that it takes one square root of 1% of world population to do the advanced TM meditation, to be practiced continuously, it'll make significant change in the world. In 84, and I have a good friend that went there, they're advanced TM meditators. They met at their college, university in Fairfield, Iowa, and there are 7,000, about 7,000 people, which at the time was 1% of the square root of world population and they meditated all day with their advanced meditation. The results were amazing, I'll never forget. For two weeks during that time, the emergency room was half empty, the hospital was half empty, and they did search all over the world, the stock market got better, there was less violence, and they do it also as a study on a smaller scale. I believe that this process will create the same type of energy. I personally believe that if you reach this level, you'll never go back. So you don't have to go and meditate all day, which is wonderful, but not very practical. You can literally be in this energetic state 24 hours a day, or at least when you awake, and the effect will be unimaginable. And I believe if I'm successful, it'll be proven. How many people you need to do this process to get significant change, I believe acceleration in healing ourselves and the planet from every aspect. It's one square root of 1% of about 9 billion is 9,746. Obviously, is not much. For example, the US, it'll take only 1,732 people. For each million, it's 1,000 people. For 100,000, only 32 people. Of course, you know, the point is, this is really a secondary benefit. The main reason for to do to have people do that is because they've improved their life, I believe, in a way they can't even imagine in their best wildest dream. So obviously it's a personal thing, one person at a time, but if this catches up and enough people do it, other people will want to do it just for thing what happened to them. And eventually we can reach results that I'm expecting. So it's a win-win, not only for each individual that does that, but everybody around them, family, town, country, organization, or whatever, and so on. So I'm asking that, are you ready to join today and do that? Again, you don't need to believe me, you don't need to understand, you don't need to change philosophy, religion, belief system, nothing. And what's nice about it, that you will find from within, what's right for you, what's not right for you, if what you're doing is good for you, maybe it's not the best, and then you'll be able to change it with that problem because you know what's going on and you understand. Well, I can tell you, you're going to have a lot of fun. Maybe if you've never done this kind of things, it may be a little awkward. Just stay with it for a few days, like I described, and everything for most people will clear up. Another thing I just wanted to mention about it, that I've seen in my own experience, people that do this kind of work, I've seen a lot of healing miracles that I would never believe as a doctor is possible. Even for example, more and more people today have very severe sensitivity to Wi-Fi, electricity, they're totally disabled because they cannot literally live in the society. Or people that are super sensitive to chemicals, the same story here because the environment is full of chemicals. 
I've known of people that did this kind of work and totally healed within days. Now, I'm not saying this will happen to everybody within days. I believe if you do it consistently for a few days, you start to feel the significant shift, but you continue relentlessly until it becomes automatic. What I'm asking, I didn't say that, but what I'm asking people to do, anybody that get to the point, and it, I assume it, it will take maybe a few weeks, few months, it doesn't matter. But whenever you get to this state that you automatically in this state, just let me know. So we'll do a head count and we'll see okay. what happens. Okay, wonderful. All yes, right. all okay. right. Thank you. Good okay. night. You're welcome. Good night. Bye.